Hey everybody, it's Dave, Blue Jacket 66 here for just a quick video. Uh, I think I'll have a little longer video coming up, perhaps this weekend. I'm doing another, trying to get my, uh, some of my cards in order and uh, uh, cataloged. And I've done a few kind of uh, safety deposit box uh, rummages and I'm gonna, gonna do another one of those. Uh, I brought home a, a case of some cards I think it, it'll be uh, Matthewson heavy uh, showing and some oversized cards. But anyway, I'll have that coming up this weekend. But real quick here, um, when I was a kid, I went and got my toys and lunch boxes and uh, sports cards and candy at uh, um, the TGNY uh, right next to the United Super Grocery Store. Um, but when it came to getting a cool off drink on the way home or from uh, sports or messing around, we always went into 7-Eleven. You went into 7-Eleven to get yourself an Icy. So 7-Elevens were big in the Kansas City, Oakland Park, Kansas area. We didn't really have Quick Trips. I'm not sure when Quick Trip actually came around, but when they did come around, we paid no attention to them because 7-Eleven at that time was king. And I'm talking about the late 70s uh, through the 80s and specifically in the 70s when I was a kid is when we got the ICs. And 7-Eleven then was uh, messing around and, and distributing sports memorabilia. Their first thing they distributed was in 1961, they did an issue of, of sports cards. They're extraordinarily crude cards, the 30 card set. Uh, I don't have any of those. And uh, I think there's some value to them, but then there's a maze and a mutual, but essentially there's almost like typed out written statistics uh, on a very crude card. I don't, not sure I've even actually seen one. And in 1976, for you Cincinnati people, I've showed my set before, the 1976 7-Eleven Cincinnati Reds set, which is ultimately cool. They're kind of a uh, little uh, disc that came on top of, of the drinks. But what I'm going to show, and, and also in this early 70s, you'd go in there and we really big on this. We, there were the plastic cups of the baseball players. So you'd get a plastic cup and it'd have a Major League Baseball star on it. So you'd uh, get, and it wasn't just regional Kansas City players. They're from all over. Really cool. And I still have a huge stack of those down in my parents' basement. But what I'm going to show now is uh, a fantastic baseball set, a basketball set. And that's the 1972 Icy Bear set which is a set of 20 stars. They're just beautiful cards. I'm not a huge basketball collector. I have some basketball cards, um, but this set is just really gorgeous. And it, it's got a lot of Hall of Famers uh, and superstars in it. So what I'm gonna do is show you a mail day of uh, one of the graded uh, cards I got of the Icy Bear and show you the other two I have. So I think I have the big three stars in it. Uh, I don't have the complete set, but I wanted to show you those. So let's take a look. So here's what I got in the mail, the 1972 Icy Bear Wilt Chamberlain. Really a cool card. Um, these are like five by three inches, pretty flimsy stock. Got a cool back here. Uh, born August 21st, 1936, Alma Marta, KU. They called him the Dipper. He's considered the most awesome player to ever play the game. He has dominated scoring and rebounding statistics. Uh, here's some icy bear fact. What player was rookie of the year? MVP, MVP all-star game. Rebound leader and leading scorer in the same year. Chamberlain's 59 and 60. Beautiful cards. All, you know, all 20 in the set are just gorgeous. So that's a, let's see, an eight. And it's a, you know, I never say I get good deals on cards because I don't. <laughs> I don't know how you all do, but I'm not the one that's get good. Everybody says, every great deal. Didn't I, I hardly ever get good deals. Uh, but I did get a good deal, pretty good deal on that one, I think. So there it is, my newest acquisition, the 1972 Icy Bear Wilt Chamberlain. That's to go along with my... Uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and a nine. So cool. Let's see what they say about him. Combines the advantage of a big man with the moves of a small man. Has the ability to control any game. 
won a second scoring title in 71-72. So that is the uh, Jabbar. And there's a lot of stars, Havlicek and Jerry West and uh, Unsold and uh, Oscar Robertson. A lot of great stars in this set. And the set is just beautiful and pretty dang affordable, too. So that's the Jabbar. And, of course, what a card. The Maravich and a nine. I mean, that is just a gorgeous card. I just love this set. Let's see what it says on the back. Uh, Pistol Pete, three-time All-American, was a all-time colored scorer. Named to the All-Rookie Team. Most rebounds in one game. 55 rebounds by Will Chamberlain, 60. It's no big icy bear facts about uh, Maravich, but it's just he's only been in the league a couple years by then. So those are my icy bears. The 1972 Icy Bear basketball set. If you're a basketball set fan, check out the set or check out the cards. They're really cool and pretty dang affordable. So thanks for watching. Be talking to you soon.